They only have ice cream ready, so I got some of that. Fruits. Should be nice, I guess. Okay, so Pasadix is not really a breakfast restaurant type of place. But uh, the lady really did himself with the ice cream. Look at this. That's beautiful. Very, very nice. Very nice ice cream. You can enjoy this as a breakfast then, I guess. Having a coffee because it's trying to blow the fast. 40 minutes of delay. So, about half an hour I'll take off. Station of Pazardik here. So uh, the railway is nice and smooth, the train is not really going fast, I think about 90 kilometers an hour. Maybe a, a hundred and something, but not, not more. So on the way to Plovdiv you see the landscape slowly changing, it becomes drier, more uh, arid, more sunny definitely, and just warmer, hotter. These are uh, quite dry fields and hills, as you may see, which you don't really find in the surrounding area of Sofia, where Sofia is a lot more uh, humid, it has a lot more rainfall, whereas here we are now in the Thracian Plain, which is where a lot of wine and grapes are, let's say, cultivated. And uh, as we go more east, southeast, we're approaching Turkey, which is not too far away. And if you pay close attention, you really do see the landscape changing. In these fields, it is possible to cultivate rice. And I'm not sure what they have in this field, but rice is quite a popular thing to, uh, to let's say, grow in the surrounding area of uh, Bazajik and all the way to Chirpan even, where there's villages called, for example, Urizovo, which is like rice, like named after rice, sort of rice village. So rice is a thing in Bulgaria. Don't be mistaken. Uh, Bulgarian rice is not really a big deal. Like we're not raising ourselves as a, as a rice country whatsoever, but uh, it does exist. Yeah. And you see the houses changing. The whole culture is different. You're really in the south of Bulgaria, let's say. It's uh, completely different than Sofia. Trust me. In other case, it's quite nice. Uh, villages have not really kept up with the development of the railway, they are still quite poor and relatively, uh, even in the surrounding area of Plovdiv, you could say that it's relatively wild, let's say, or wild, uh, a bit poor, you can definitely say that, a bit poor. So, whereas Sofia is becoming quite developed with not that it, it looks that great in the surrounding area, but uh, it's become more expensive. And But here, if you go to a village, you're really, really in a village still. So, Plovdiv urban area is pretty big with Asenovgrad included, but if you're outside that, you're truly in rural Bulgaria. Do not forget that. Okay, so here we are in Plovdiv. And these are some, uh, let's say, artificially planted uh, palm trees. But nonetheless, they do grow here. They, they can definitely be used here, it's uh, almost a Mediterranean type of climate, not completely, but not too far off here in Plovdiv. And it's really hot in summer and you see a different type of trees here. Like you see the same in Istanbul, these are sort of trees that don't really grow in Sofia. I don't know what it is, but it's just more southern, I'd say. And that's really nice, look at this, amazing. This is Plovdiv, can you imagine? This have the meatballs here in this uh, Chikkifte restaurant, Turkish 
Honors, I suppose. Looks real nice. Look at it. A lot of spices and herbs. Real cool.